Living in Japan for an extended period has allowed me the chance to experience the things I love in fashion in a way I could have never imagined growing up. And it's quite amazing to share that with those willing to listen, namely all of you. However, due to the nature of fashion, quite often judgment and competition can play a large role in our own biases. And because of that, we may never get a chance to learn from others and more importantly, other cultures that may very well give us insight and inspiration. So today, I wanna to discuss what Westerners in particular can learn from Japanese fashion and style, much like how many Japanese have adopted and learned from Westerners. So without further ado, I'm your boy, Reggie Casual. This is Unscripted, let us get it. Now, before we get into the meat of the episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to never miss another episode. Also, be sure to check us out on Patreon to get access to our special episodes, our private Discord, and much, much more. So in order to understand what you can learn from Japanese fashion, we have to understand the why. Like, why do you need to learn from Japanese people? Well, many Japanese fashion techniques are actually used by major fashion houses today. And quite often, Japan is at the cusp of trends. I bet you didn't know that. I mean, the country is literally in the future half the time, so it's expected. Seriously, if you're one of the first to watch this episode out west, it's likely I'm in a deep, deep sleep the next day. But despite being on the cusp and the forefront of trends and having a reputation for being a fashion powerhouse, Japan is often equally accused of being unbearably conformist. As the saying goes, derukugi wa utareru, or the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. A reference to maintaining community harmony over the desires of oneself. Now this has not been lost in the Japanese fashion and design industry. And as a result, many Japanese up and coming designers lack the support of the industry due to a quite often draconian method of hierarchy that prevails throughout Japanese society. But on the other end, it's a boon to the respect Japanese designers have for craftsmanship, tradition, and fusion. Many designers are forced to spend years honing their craft. And as a result, the consumer often has an equal amount of respect and admiration for the time that the designers have put in. So with that said, what are the specific points that Westerners can learn? Well, I can't go into an extended history. I mean, I could, but it would take a while. But what I can do is give you several points of interest that lay the foundation of Japanese fashion and style. And hopefully it inspires you somewhat to adopt, if not all, some of these concepts that makes Japanese fashion and style exciting and worthwhile. And the first we begin with is minimalism. Japanese fashion and design is known for its minimalistic approach with clean lines, neutral colors, and simple designs being the norm. This minimalism is not just about aesthetics, but also about creating a sense of balance and harmony. The simplicity of Japanese fashion allows for individual pieces to stand out and be appreciated for their own qualities rather than being hidden behind excessive embellishments or accessories. Or as the legendary designer Yoji Yamamoto stated, Japanese fashion is about balance, simplicity, and the respect for the traditions of the past. It is about finding beauty in the smallest details and creating something truly timeless. And speaking of attention to detail, our next point, Japanese fashion is famous for it. From the way clothing is constructed to the accessories used to complete an outfit. This is evident in the precision of stitching, the clean lines of design, and the high quality materials used. By focusing on the small details, Japanese fashion elevates an outfit and transforms it into a work of art, truly. You can see this level of detail and effort in labels from the aforementioned designer Yoji Yamamoto, or of course, Rei Kawakubo. That's a given, but it becomes far more poignant when you see it in the work of even street-based designers like Nigo or Tetsu Nishiyama of Double Taps, further suggesting that this methodology is more cultural than simply an expected standard. But we cannot understate that Japanese fashion has such a strong emphasis on quality, both in terms of the materials used and the worksmanship that goes into each piece. This focus on quality ensures that the clothing will last for years to come and will always look its best. It also reflects a cultural respect for the time and effort that goes into each piece and the appreciation for craftsmanship that is a hallmark of Japanese culture. This is noticed by designers the world over, even in Japan, they know this to be true. Jinya Watanabe once stated, in Japanese fashion, there's a real appreciation for quality and craftsmanship and the attention to detail. The focus on quality ensures that clothing lasts for years to come and always looks its best. Kind of the same thing that I said earlier. This leaves us with the Japanese often unrivaled respect for tradition. Despite innovative and cutting edge approach to fashion, the Japanese value tradition and incorporate elements of traditional clothing and techniques into modern designs. 
brands like Capital, Undercover, Mihari Yasuhiro, consistently reference Japanese traditional fashion, even incorporating traditional dyeing and printing techniques. By honoring their cultural heritage, Japanese designers bring a sense of history and depth to their work that is noticeable by pretty much everyone. But that does not mean that Japanese fashion is inherently old or out of date. In fact, very much the opposite. The Japanese fashion industry is known for its innovative use of technology, from the use of unusual materials to the implementation of cutting edge production techniques. This has led to some of the most exciting and forward thinking designs in the fashion world and has established Japan as a leader in that industry. Whether it's incorporating new materials like synthetic fibers, like solo tech, or using 3D printing to create intricate designs, Japanese fashion is always pushing the boundaries of what is possible. And that should be exciting for Westerners to know that while tradition plays a huge role, technology and forward thinking have been an incredible ally to Japanese design. But beyond the simple making, Japanese fashion and style in actual practice is undeniably unique and eclectic. You've likely seen the pictures of Harajuku styles, the bombastic outfits, the punk influences, the hip hop influences with Japanese traditional nods, or even the thousands of brands, if you've been to Japan, that you never get to see on the main stage. A part of the reason for this is because Japanese fashion promotes experimentation and individuality. You know, that same experimentation and individuality that everybody in the Western fashion world is talking about right now? Yeah, Japan's like always been about that. And that's like been a point. Japanese fashion is a celebration of individuality and experimentation and encourages people to express themselves in new and exciting ways and to be bold and unafraid. That's not from me. That is a quote from Rei Kabukubo who herself was a trailblazer in not only fashion, but bucking the trend and becoming a self-made woman during an age where she wasn't really encouraged to do so. This fashion bravery or fearlessness with which Japanese designers and enthusiasts have allows them to mix and match different styles, lifestyles, whatever, creating looks that are completely their own without fear of reproach or judgment. But this couldn't be achieved if the Japanese didn't have their secret weapon. They focus on the total look, which is something I have embraced personally and totally stand behind. Many of them pay close attention to the accessories and smaller details that complete an outfit. This includes things like shoes, bags, jewelry, even hats, glasses, and maybe even the way you do your hair. By focusing on the entire look, Japanese fashion creates a sense of coherence and unity that is difficult to achieve with just the clothing alone. As the late Kenzo Takata stated, Japanese fashion is all about the total look. It's not just about the clothes you're wearing, but the way you present yourself from head to toe. Every detail matters. But these details wouldn't be as expansive if Japan had not embraced cultural fusion. A single sticking point that many Westerners attach to Japanese fashion and style, either to stigmatize or to celebrate. Be that as it may, Japanese fashion often showcases a fusion of different cultural styles incorporating elements from around the world to create something truly original. This can be seen in the use of African or Native American inspired prints, or the incorporation of elements of European or American fashion into traditional Japanese designs. By embracing diversity and cultural exchange, at least in fashion, Japanese fashion creates a truly global perspective that is both inclusive and dynamic. And the last point, the cherry on top, if you will, much of Japanese fashion is eco-friendly, at least from some of the major players, with a strong emphasis on sustainability and eco-friendliness, remake and upcycling. Japan has often been at the forefront of sustainable design, but this often didn't come with a political agenda attached. It was simply a byproduct of respect of tradition, cultural concepts like wabi-sabi, and quite frankly, a largely agricultural past that many Japanese are descendants of. Brands like Yuto Hosokawa's Ready Made, Blue Blue Japan, and even major select shops like Nano Universe exclusively use sustainable methods and almost never have to advertise it. That's because the Japanese consumer often knows this without having to ask, speaking to the aptitude and more importantly, the expectation of said consumer. And this also has not been lost on Western designers. The late Vivian Westwood stated that Japanese fashion is at the forefront of the sustainable fashion movement with its emphasis on quality, eco-friendliness and respect for the environment is setting a positive example for the rest of the world to follow, which is high praise indeed 
And part of the reason why Japanese fashion enthusiasts and designers love Vivian Westwood, because she loved them right back. And while all these points aren't exhaustive, I didn't give you everything, the fact is Westerners can learn a great deal from Japanese fashion and style. From its minimalistic approach and attention to detail to its embrace of tradition and innovative use of technology, Japanese fashion is a rich and diverse field that has much to offer. By incorporating some of these lessons into your own fashion choices, you can create a more cohesive and meaningful style that is both beautiful and sustainable without an agenda, it's just a byproduct of what you do, just saying. Or as one of my favorite Japanese designers put it, Japanese fashion is about more than just looking good. It's about feeling good too. The focus on sustainability, eco-friendliness, and respect for the environment make Japanese fashion a true celebration of life and the world around us. I couldn't have put it better myself. And that's all I got for you. But if you wanna add your own opinions, comments, or rather, how about answer this question? What do you think you can or have learned from Japanese fashion? What are some of your favorite styles and designers? Let it all be known in the comments. And don't forget to check us out and support us on Patreon. If you can, get access to our private Discord, our fashion business lessons, and a whole bunch of extra stuff that we're gonna be putting on more and more as this year goes on, depending on when you've watched this. But if you watch it later, we're still doing that thing. Po possibly even better stuff. Not sure yet, I'm not in the future. Well, I am in the future. I said that earlier, I am in, anyway. Most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. I'll see you guys in a minute.